about the Vario front? What's uh, why'd you buy it? Uh, bought it because of the uh, extendable cutter bar and also um, being able to direct head canola. Right, so you're direct heading all your crop, are you? All the canola, yeah. All right. Now this year was a particularly bad year for grain losses. Yep. Um, how'd, you, how'd, you, how'd your crops fare? Uh, not as well as we had hoped and looking forward we'll probably at least be looking at windrowing at least a percentage of our total canola crop. I think this year's probably conditions like the windy hot Wednesday a couple back was probably you know the worst conditions possible for, for canola shaking. See a lot of those conditions every year or do you reckon that's a one-off once every five, once every ten? Probably a uh, one in five event. I've heard reports of um, shaking in the windrow as well, like guys harvesting one day, coming back after that Wednesday and losing 0.4, 0.5 of a tonne. Have yeah. you, you experienced that before? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. If you're losing 0 0.7, 0 0.8 in a canola crop, yeah, and you're losing 0.4 in a really severe wind in a windrow, then yeah. you're probably somewhere about even, aren't you? That's right, yeah. And the other thing is we've got to cross a lot more acres um, in a short amount of time by direct harvesting. Yeah. Just explain to me the extendable knife, that means you can move it further out, is that what you're saying? The knife will actually move uh, 700 mils back towards okay. the table auger. And does that make it better for direct heading, like the shorter or the longer? Uh, longer for canola, yeah. so that you've actually got somewhere for the canola heads to fall onto before they go under the table auger. Yeah. Thank you.